In summary, this research shares the potential usage of whole genome sequencing WGS, for anti-tuberculosis drug resistance diagnosis. According to a 2017 report from the World Health Organization, there is a constant increase of anti-TB drug resistance cases globally, despite increased testing, with close to 230,000 fatalities that year alone. Similarly, in Indonesia, there is a huge gap between multidrug resistant TB incidence and treatment, leading to delayed detection and inappropriate treatment administration. Existing conventional methods are tedious, time-consuming, inconsistent, and have incomplete sensitivity to determine multidrug resistant TB. WGS is gradually gaining a reputation as a reliable tool to predict drug resistance of different mycobacterium tuberculosis strains. However, it is yet to be explored in high endemic settings. This study provides the first evidential data of M. tuberculosis strains resistant to first and second line TB drugs in Indonesia predicted using WGS. As a result, WGS proved to be a rapid, affordable and comprehensive diagnostic tool that is also portable, potentially improving the chances of being diagnosed and be given more appropriate treatment. Researchers also concluded that drug-resistant TB strains are more common among those with Indo-Oceanic lineage, compared to those with Euro-American and East Asian lineages. That being said, those of East Asian lineages are more susceptible to host multiple mutated strains. As a whole, WGS is a promising computational method used to understand the influence of genetic data and mutation consequences of all M. tuberculosis strains with drug resistance. Aligned with the objectives of the United Nations' third SDG, Good Health and Well-Being, it serves as a good starting point to improve clinical management and TB control efforts in developing countries, as well as to end the epidemics of tuberculosis by 2030.